Hello everyone, I uh, hope you're doing great. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can analyze Likert scale or Likert type items using descriptive statistics. And namely, we are going to be using uh, central tendencies or measures of location like uh, the mean, median, and mode. And uh, measures of dispersion like the standard deviation range etc even the variance etc so there is an option on spaces that allows you to run this analysis and get the measures of central tendencies and measures of dispersion so if we can uh, if you have like uh, spaces you can either go to analyze from the output view and then descriptive stats and then frequencies and then you you try to move the lacquer type items to this box and from here you can choose statistics that can be included so for the central tendencies as you can see we can choose the mean median mode we can include even the sum for the percentile values, we can include the quartiles, for instance. For the dispersion values, we can include the standard deviation, the variance, and the range, etc. There are even measures of sconis and kurtosis, etc. And we just need to click continue when you feel that you checked what is necessary. So click continue and then click OK and here is the analysis so you can have separate tables like this these are frequencies and you have a, a whole table like this one that contains the items along with the measures you can just copy this table and paste it to and uh, report it using the EPA style like the mean of each Leckert type item and the higher the mean score let's say the more the respondents agree with the items um, in question the median is like the mid the, the midpoint value if we group the items from the largest to uh, the smallest for instance or vice versa the mode is the most frequent value here like there is this decisiveness there is this disagreement here there is agreement and this is like bimodal like there may be two modes uh, standard deviation means which respondent differs from the others and the higher the standard deviation the more diverse the the sample is the variance range some percentiles all are let's say all measures of dispersion as I said and it can be used to determine the variability of the responses provided by the sample uh, with regard to each Likert type item. So this is in brief how you can uh, go about analyzing uh, Likert type items using some measures of uh, central tendencies and dispersion in light of the so-called descriptive stats. Um, if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media. And see you soon in another tutorial. Bye for now.